Namaste, Dosto. I welcome to the village of Haas Kaas. Haas Kaas is a village in South Delhi. And if you've seen my previous videos where I've been in North Delhi, this place is a fresh bread of air. So in this area, you will find lots of quirky shops and lots of beautiful restaurants and lots of cafes. Let's just have a quick look, shall we? Here we have lots of cool shops. Wild Eagle. Look, there's even a top shop here. Wow, hello, wow. Max. Uh-oh. And there's lots of uh, side streets going down here. There's all these little fun shops they have, little bars, this little restaurant. And at the end here is uh, the entrance to Hawes Cars Fort. And what I can gather, it's about 25 rupees for an Indian person and it's about 300 for a foreigner. So let's take a look and have a look, see. Here we go, let's get some tickets. Yes, I was right, it was 300. Hello, how are you? I'm a white man. White man price, 300, yeah? 251%. How much? 251%. Ah, really? All nine tickets. Hello, sir. All nine tickets, scan and pay. Scan and pay? Yeah. What do you mean, scan and pay? You are going to scan. Oh, if you scan a QR code. Okay, so the QR code is over here, is it? Yeah, Okay, right. So, okay, I have to scan this QR code. Let's see. It's all about the technology now these days, isn't it? Okay, so that was the most complicated ticket you ever have to do. You got to fill out your form. They wanted ID and everything. But anyway, I got a little pass to show this man. Happy? Good. He's happy. Okay, let's check out this fort. Wow. Oh, cool, man. Look at this. Okay, so there's a mosque here. Oh, a little chipmunk. Look at him. Go on, jump up. Look at that, he's cool. Hello, chipmunk. What are you doing? You coming up, you want some food? You want some food, chipmunk? You think I've got food, don't you? Look at these little guys. I don't have food. How about if I give you this leaf? Leave that. Well, you know. You reckon he'd know? Come here. Oh, no. <laughs> How cool are they? All right. So yeah, so a little history lesson is that Haas cause and what it means. Well in Urdu, Haas means water tank and Kaz means royal. So they, that, for, that means a royal tank. And if you look here, what they mean is like there's a giant reservoir. And look, look at the size of that. This is the giant reservoir right here. So yeah, lots of water. And this is pretty cool. I think there's like a, there's like a tomb here as well. And there's a sign there saying this is a mosque. This must be, area must be the mosque area. So let's have a look here.
It's an ancient structure. I'd say. No, that's definitely not the mask. This must be the old mask. It would be right here. So yeah, this must be like just the old mask. What's in here? This is a dungeon. The dungeon. Oh, are we allowed in here? Probably not, but we'll sneak in anyway, yeah? Uh oh, I hear whistling, I hear whistling, I hear blowing. Oh, it got caught. Gotta get out. No, no. It's closed. Closed. Look, it's opened. It was opened. Okay, my friend. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that the mask? Would that be the mask here? This was the mask, yeah, okay. So I was right. This is the mask little area. And I, I don't know. I think it maybe it dates back to the 14th century. But Steve will investigate and he'll find out. Just how old this place is. Bro, bro. Bro, is that... Hey, Hi, what's happening, hey. Dewey's? Good. How are you? I'm good, we are good. We are all good. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Oh, wow. See ya, Firmilinge. Yeah, it goes to YouTube, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel name is Liam Steele. Liam Steele. Yeah, yeah, so... L, I... Hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. You have a YouTube channel. Selfie. Let me see. One selfie. Oh, selfie, come on. Joint selfie. No problem. Okay. See you on my channel. Bye bye. I don't think they remember what my channel is, do they? So, yep, that's it. Look. Hawes Cause, a royal tank. Steel was right again. Look at that, wow. I just love those little chipmunks though. So I love to have one of them as a pet. It'd be a beautiful little animal. Let's have a look along here. Let's see if we can jump up here, will we? Oh yes. <laughs> Sorry. This is not a photo bomb. Oh, you can't see much here because there's a big hedge in the way. Maybe we can go through here. Let's see. It's a little bit dark. Oh, we'll go through in here. Ooh. Another lock gate. Shall I go in? Hello. Oh yeah, cool. Deviant, love Ganda. Himalesh, love Raoud. Hmm. Lots of dark areas. This is cool, isn't it? Oh, brilliant, look at this. 
Here's a much better view of this reservoir right here. Love it. Absolute peace. Oh, we just go back to Paragange. I reckon we just go back to Paragange. It's much, much madder. But this is definitely my favorite part of Delhi so far. I think I should give you guys some history on this area, as I did not know much history at the time I visited. So the Hawes Cause Fort was not originally constructed as a standalone fort, but as part of a larger water reservoir system during the reign of Aluja Kilje. The second ruler of the Kilje dynasty in the early 14th century. Aluddin Kilje ordered the construction of the Khaz Khaz Reservoir primarily to meet the water needs of the newly built Siri Fort, which served as his military camp. Yeah, so let's keep going. I think this is pretty much the end of this fort. Let's have a look. Ooh, yes. Okay, I wonder what that is. Ah, oh, cool. So the next rule, Fraz Shah, increased the capacity of the reservoir, but also constructed additional structures around it, including the mosque that we've seen earlier. He made a madrasa, which is an Islamic seminary, and also he made his own tomb, which we will see soon. So as you can see, the architecture is preserved well. These ruins provide a glimpse into the architectural styles of Delhi's Sultanate period. Okay, I think we're going to go back out to the village. Yeah, so basically, the tomb is in here, right in there. And maybe you might be able to see by looking in here, because they have it blocked off. Steel tried to sneak in. Yeah, so look, this is it. There it is. <coughs> so that's his actual tomb is in here, if you can see in there. But, uh, yeah, they can hear an echo. Oh, look, we can go in here. There is the tomb, look at that. It's me, Farah Shirah. Look, I'm after getting in here by myself. Yeah, so this is the tomb. And there's actually three tombs here. So I don't know who owns the other ones, but I would guess that this one here is Far Sharar. And these other ones could be, I'm not quite sure, there could be other people. Or it could all just be one tomb. But yeah, pretty cool, hey? And look at it. 
That's amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's well preserved. Yeah. So I don't think we're supposed to be in here, so we'll just sneak out again. Oh, look. Lonely. Call us. Sadly, Farah Shiraz, is it? We better get out of here now before I get in trouble. Success! Yeah, so that was the tour of Hoss Cause Fort. And we have a lovely garden here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Well preserved. Just in time, the security guard's coming. He would have caught steel there inside the tomb. Let's see if I can get a high five. Hey, brother, high five. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He didn't even know I was in the tomb. So, well, it's obvious that this is an Islamic fort. Obviously, the tomb, and then you obviously have this mosque, which is over here. Let's quickly read what it says here. It does, it's going to talk about the mosque. Well, it's a tree dome building. There you go, yeah, so it is unusual. The unusual T-shaped building is along Connolly Hall. So it's 25 metres long. And it is quite unique. Look, it's cool, isn't it? Look at that. Even look at the stones hanging here. You can see like that was, it would have been all the way going around. You can see it here as well. It's just all smashed off. So that's how they did it back in the old days with the old stone, didn't they? They have the little roof hanging over. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, so I think now we're gonna, I'll go back out to the village and maybe I might just go outside the village and see what else we can find. Cause this is like one of the poshest areas in Delhi, it's like, when, uh, it's like I read it's the, one of the top 10 poshest areas in the whole of Delhi. You know, so there's obviously the way between North Delhi and South Delhi. So what I'll do is we'll just, I'll go back out to the village and I'll just have a look around, see what else we can see. Cello. <laughs> 